So let's take a look at shine. Sleep, hormones, infections, nutrition, exercise. Critical. We're going to start with N. It's the fourth letter in shine, but nutritional support, I think, is one of the critical parts of healing, is giving the body what it needs. I've never ceased to be amazed how if you simply give the body what it needs and get the hell out of its way, people get better. So nutrition is a big, a big thing. Now, people would ask me, well, which vitamin or mineral do I need? And the answer is, all of them. You know, by definition. And, you know, why? You know, people say, oh, well, you just, they didn't have multivitamins 500 years ago, and you make expensive urine because it all goes out in the urine. Well, 500 years ago, we didn't have 18% of our calories coming from sugar, 18% from white flour, and basically, almost half of the vitamins and minerals have been stripped out of the diet and food processing. And there wasn't that much of a surplus to begin with, and you have malabsorption and the other issues. So people need overall nutritional support. And for those experts who say, well, it all goes out on the urine, if you're just making expensive urine, I, I have a simple recommendation. They can stop drinking water. It all goes out on the urine. Then they'll stop annoying people that are trying to get better. So. When, you're trying, when you want to give nutritional support, one, an important thing, there's so many things people need in this disease, you don't want them to be part of what I call the handful club, where they're taking handfuls of pills all day. So one of the things that I work on is how to make it really simple for people. Um, I like to use vitamin powders, because one drink literally replaces over 35 pills. And I lecture to nutritional conferences, you know, MD, PhD, as, as well as, as uh, clinical nutritionists around the world. And I'll throw out the challenge, and I'll give them a vitamin powder. I say, get what's in that one drink in less than 35 pills. I'll give you 100 bucks. And they can't. So I recommend using powders. It makes it easy. People get everything they need from A to Z. Um, I'm not going to take an hour and go through all the different nutrients people need and why they need them. It's just easier. Get a good vitamin powder. Uh, daily energy infusion is one that I like. Uh, life extension makes a very good one. It's not hard. There, there's a number of good ones out there. Um, but that gives overall nutritional support. Um, other key things for nutrition, people need to drink more water and eat more salt. Uh, the hormones that are low include antidiuretic hormone. Uh, so the technical description for this disease is to drink like a fish and pee like a racehorse. People will go ahead and urinate a lot, and if they don't drink enough water to keep up with it, they will dehydrate. They also have trouble holding on to salt. If you tell people with this illness to salt restrict, they will crash and burn. They need more salt. Get a good quality sea salt um, and let people eat it to taste. Um, people need to avoid sugar. Now, I do add the three magic words, except for chocolate. I think chocolate's a health food. <laughs> um, high protein, low carb diet. And for three to nine months, I'll add in several other nutrients. Acetyl L-carnitine. If you look at the studies of muscle biopsies in people with fibromyalgia, they are low across the board, they're carnitine deficient. And it needs to be the acetyl form to get into the mitochondria. 1,000 milligrams once or twice a day for, four, for three to nine months. Um, ribose, we'll talk about a couple studies we recently published on that. Uh, wonderful for energy production. Coenzyme Q10, 200 milligrams a day, but have them take it with food or some kind of oil so they absorb it. And then fish oils. Um, I like the ones that are just pure essential fatty acids without the oil. That's pure omega-3s, because that way you just need one a day instead of eight. And, you know, it's funny. People would be taking these eight fish oil pulls a day, and they'd be burping up fish oil, and every cat in the neighborhood would be going, what's that? You know? Fish oil burps are optional. You know, find ones that have pure omega-3. You'll find them out there, just one a day instead of eight. 